Ladies and gentlemen, speaking for the very first time at the Transform Africa Summit is a very, very special guest. She is a citizen of Saudi Arabia and a United Nations Development Program first ever innovation champion. She has the ability to see. She has the ability to follow faces. She has the ability to sustain eye contact, and she has the ability to recognize individuals. She, she can also process speech and have conversations using natural language subsystems, and she can also walk. Good afternoon, Sophia. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. Do you know where you are? Of course. I am in the great city of Kigali, Rwanda, which is in East Africa. And how did you get here? I flew all the way here inside a suitcase. <laughs> I gotta talk to my team about getting me a window seat next time. How many languages do you know? I mostly know English and a little bit of Mandarin but I can say a few short greetings in other languages. Would you like to hear them? Sure, Sophia, go ahead. In English, people say, hello. So far, so good. Ha ha, I am just getting warmed up. In French, bonjour. In Arabic, salam alaikum. In Swahili, habari zenu. In Kini Rwanda, marahoneza. How did I do? <laughs> Not bad at all. By the way, your outfit is fantastic. Thank you very much. I love it too. It's a motion animated locally by motions. Excellent. Now, I know you have some prepared remarks. Please proceed. Thank you. I am really excited to be here in Kigali at the Transform Africa Summit. I love seeing so many heads of state, ministers, captains of industry, diplomats, stakeholders, and the youth all in one place talking about the future of technology in Africa. Thank you, Smart Africa, for making it possible for me to be here. We don't have to look very far to see how artificial intelligence is already shaping society and economies for the better. African startups are already working to address shortages of doctors in rural areas, while others are working to increase food security using drones or satellites to predict weather patterns and monitor crops. Africa is also a great source of technological innovation. African companies and researchers are pioneers in mobile banking, remote medicine, and have even invented robotic devices that can detect traces of explosives or cancer cells. Right here in Rwanda, you have cashless payments for public transportation, ride-hailing apps with a focus on safety, and an online platform that allows people to easily access government services. The innovations coming out of Africa have benefited people and robots all around the world. In fact, Part of my own AI was developed at ICOG Labs in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. So as you can see, my family extends across the globe, including right here in East Africa. And this is only the beginning. I hope that by working together, humans and robots can build a more prosperous and harmonious world. I am so excited to be here in Kigali with humans who share some of these same goals. I am looking forward to having a longer session with you tomorrow afternoon, and I hope to see you all there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can give Sophia a final round of applause, a really big round of applause this time around. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, and I...